Welcome to another edition of Rusty Responds, where I finally stop ignoring my fans and respond to all the questions and comments that you've been dying to ask. If you have a question you'd like me to respond to, send me a tweet at Rusty Cage Music or message me on my Facebook page. This past week has been an eventful one. My previous video about the Pokemon Go hack went viral and got me more than 12 million views on Facebook and over a million views here on YouTube. Who would have guessed? And well, I'm about to go on a 10 day trip to Hawaii so I won't be able to post any new videos for a bit. I've already started working on the Knife Game Around the World song, but until I complete that, I'll just have to leave you with a good old Rusty Responds video. So let's get right to the questions. Heart Heart Unicorn asks, Will you play any video games? I don't really get into video games much. Most of them just seem very redundant and lose my interest before I beat them, so I just stop playing altogether. There are a few though that I actually can sit through. I fucking love all the Grand Theft Auto games for their expansive playability. Portal 2 had me stuck in my house for two days playing without sleep like a meth addict, and any game like Shadow of the Colossus will grab my interest. But usually when I play video games, I feel like I'm wasting time that I could be spending insulting people online and drinking. LlamaGaming.com asks, why did he make this? He has hurted a lot of people with that song. He should go to jail. Well, I did go to jail. I was arrested in 2012 on charges of hurted a lot of people, and I was in prison for three years. I've learned my lesson. I'm sorry, world. I did a terrible thing, but I don't think that it was okay to have sent me to jail and beat up daily, raped, starved, and mentally tortured, all because I made a song. But the justice system thought otherwise. And now, I'm free but I'm institutionalized. I can't even use the bathroom without someone telling me that I can because I'm so used to living on the schedule of the established rulers of the prison. I think often about breaking the law just to go back, to have some sort of order in my life, because right now, there is none. Perhaps I'll finally find the courage to kill myself. Thank you, Llama Gaming, for giving me the courage. Of course you all know I'm fucking around, so don't go out and report me to the suicide hotline. Moving on to my Pokemon Go video. If you haven't seen it, the video shows you how to cheat at Pokemon Go by tricking the game into thinking that you're walking around by attaching your phone to a bike tire, record player, or ceiling fan. It was featured on a few websites, which was cool, but some of these jackasses completely missed the point on how the cheat works, and they were just calling it bogus. Well, it fucking worked for me when I did it, so I don't know what they're all talking about. Anyways, in reference to the cheat needing a bike, record player, or ceiling fan, Christopher Guerrero asks, Don't have any of those things. Any other ideas? Yeah, get in your car and then drive around until you find a cliff. And then drive off the cliff. Okay. Oh, totally burned you, buddy. But what goes around comes around. Dalton writes, Maybe your mom could hold my phone. I hear she gets around a lot. Burn. Well, get ready for the non-stop like notifications. Yeah, have fun with that, buddy. Well now, not everyone thought that my video was a good idea, because I got a heated message from a hardcore Pokemon rebel. Steven writes, Don't be hacking Pokemon Go. All games go to shit and fucks up because of hacking. It's BS. Play the game the real way, or don't play it at all. Nah, I'm gonna cheat. Nice try, though. You only want to cheat to be better than ever. Everyone else, all it proves is how much of a faggot you are. I'm reporting you, and if I found you, I would beat your ass, because with you cheating, the game freezes everyone else's gaming. Fucking bitch, boy. You won't do shit. Go sit on a diglet. Really now, I bet you won't say that to my face. Only bitches cheat. I hope they kick you off it, bitch boy. Be a man and play by the rules. Yeah, I would. I would say it right to your stupid face. Stupid? I bet you haven't even evolved your Rattata, you fucking fopdoodle. What a failure to your parents. Okay, you're right. Your parents don't love you, lol. All I say is be a man, not a little chick that's a bitch. Well, that was a poor response. Anyways, thanks for the mild entertainment. Bitch, you think you're better because you have to cheat? Guess what? The ones who play by the rules is better than cheaters, lol. Dude, you look exactly like the type of retard that would message a random person on Facebook and try to fight them because of Pokemon Go. I didn't realize they inbred so much out there in Arizona land. I mean, Jesus, man, it's fucking Pokemon Go. And I think this guy might just keep it real and take a flight from Arizona all the way to where I am in Florida just to fuck me up. Well, I'll be waiting, Steven. I'll be waiting. Zach writes... Hey, love the Pokemon Go hack. May I request a topic for a future episode? I'm open to ideas. I love when nerdy, nerdy boys get wedgies. Could you do something with that? Fuck no, but I'm sure someone on Craigslist will oblige your fetish. Oh, I'm sure you could do a twist on it or something. I don't trust Craigslist. I'm not making a kink video about giving boys wedgies. 
I never said you had to do it like that. You could do a rusty twist. Maybe nerds giving jocks wedgies or whatever, but the rusty cage perspective on it. Okay, interesting. So do you have any ideas specifically of what would happen in this video? Like a scenario? Maybe an alternate world where nerds are still nerds and jocks are still jocks, but jocks walk the halls in fear of their boxers getting yanked or their homework getting done. Just bizarro world where the normal school hierarchy is flipped. Maybe in the end it's just one nerd's daydream while he's mid-swirly. What the fuck? Do I really come off as the type of person to make jock nerd wedgie fetish videos? I mean, I've made some weird shit on this channel, but I don't know about something like this. Well, actually, maybe I could do something along these lines. Hmm. No wonder. Nope. Fuck that shit. Maybe when I get back from vacation, I'll make the Rusty Cage Wedgie Fest fetish tape, but I definitely got no time for that now. Sorry, Zach. Anyways, thank you to all my viewers and everyone who newly subscribed to my channel. I'll be back making new videos soon, so stay tuned. And if you like this video, hit like and don't forget to subscribe for more. Special thanks to all my patrons for your contributions. If you want to support this channel, join me on Patreon, where a donation as low as a dollar a month will help fund future content. Don't forget to follow me on my social media sites to keep up to date with all the new and exciting shit that I have planned. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned. That's right. I fancy myself too good to reply to fans. That's why I only do it whenever I have time set aside to give a response more than the usual cookie cutter responses you might get from someone who is very busy. Like thanks mate, don't forget to buy my t-shirt.